Hi, in this video today I would like to show you how to setting and run debugger Python in Visual Studio course. Okay, so now let's get started. I will open the Visual Studio in my PC. Okay, so here I'm going to create a file for the Python. Okay, I will name it in calculator. Okay, so here in this example, I will print out the summary of two number. Okay, follow me in this video. The first one I will create two number. We create some the variable here. And the last step, I will print out the summary of two number. Print total. Okay, those formats. I will have the number one. Num two and sum. Okay. So here I set this one, and I can run this for now to see the summary, to see the result of this calculator. Okay. So here I have to change the name for this one by provide the extension. Extension for this one should be py. Okay. Right click on this one to run the Python file in terminal, or you can also click on the run button on the menu here. Yeah, you can see the result will be 15. Yeah, it's a working fine. Okay, so now here I will be on this uh, example to guide you how to do the debugger. Okay, so for example, here I I'm not sure the summary here is correct or incorrect. So I will do some debug to 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 check it. Okay. I hover to the line here. Okay. So for example, I want to debug the summary. So I will do some here. So I will hover to the line three, and here on the right hand I have a red cycle. Okay. This indicate uh, when I click on here on, on on the left here it will be the red cycle will be appear it it, it indicates that this will be used for breakpoint okay breakpoint mean I will do some debugger for this okay so here I will click on the run option you can click on start the debugger debugging or to go breakpoint okay I will click on the Start debugging or press the shortcut on the keyboard in F5. Yeah. And then I have to select the uh, de debug configuration for this. The debug, configura the debug configuration pop up has been displayed. So you have to select the right, right option here. Yeah. Because we are running the Python, so we have to select the Python file. Select this one. Yeah, so here it will run from the top of course until the breakpoint. Yeah, it, in the, in the breakpoint it will stop here and waiting for us. Okay, okay. So here for the watch. Okay, I will remove this one. Own expression here. Okay, I will guide you how to add some the variable into the what what list view here. Okay, so here for example. I want to view the number of sum. Okay, so I will right click on this one, select sum, and right click on this. I have the add to what? Yeah, so here the what variable will be adding will be added into the what on the left hand. Okay, so for now the sum it don't have the value because it is it's still not run to the sum. Okay. So here you take a look into the top 
we have a variable we have local variable is number one is 10 number two is five yeah there are some additional information here but we can for forget this one just focus into the number one and number two value okay so here you see we have a new 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 function here display on the top of the of the of the course we have some option is the first one is continuous second one is step over step in for step out and restart the last one will be the stop if you are familiar with another coding or the graphic user interface of any 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 tune for programming language so you will understand what that it mean yeah so here if you click on the step five step over here the breakpoint here will be run to another line here yeah so you see the take a look into the watch list for now you see the sum of the watch a sum of variable will be will be having the summary as uh, the value here it will be equal the total of the number one and number two yeah so here when you hover into the sum variable here it will also display display the the, the values yeah okay so here uh, if we think this or uh, this result is correct is it seems the functionality functionalities is working fine for this for this calculator okay and then you can click on the f5 to continue yeah so after running after the debugger is finished it will display the total in the terminator the terminator here okay i will delete this one q terminator okay so here i will run it again for example i will remove the breakpoint here by clicking again into the rest cycle okay i want to start the debugger from the number two so i will click on this one yeah i will add the number two into the watch that list uh, we cannot add it into the watch list for now because we need to run it first run it and then it will stop to the number two here oh. clear this one let me run it debug sorry yeah so it's it stopped from the number two so now here i will step over so now if i want to add the number two into what's list here i do the same thing and i add this for the sum variable previously yeah the number two is for have it has the re result is five okay and the step over you see here the indicator it is as the line number three and and then i click on the step over it will run to the step the line four okay result here okay run it again the result will be again displayed in the terminator yeah and of course the debugger layout here will be disappear because we have just finished debugger well procedure okay okay so i think that's all for today and after you finish this video you know how to do the configuration for for debugger in in visual in visual studio code for python okay i hope this video will have fun for you let me know if you see any issue bye bye and see you later in another video thank you for watching